Welcome back, everyone. I am so excited because today I get to talk to Miss Universe Lebanon. How are you, Maya? Great. How are you? And I'm so excited for that. Oh, I'm super excited. I know that we are supposed to have a little conversation yesterday, but yeah. you were not feeling so great. But I'm happy to see that you're back. Yes, I'm full back <laughs> and I'm feeling better. Hopefully, in the next few days, I'll feel more better. Yes. I just excuse my voice, but it's fine. It's all good. <laughs> one thing that I can tell you guys is that this one is fighting real hard here yes. to make you guys proud in Lebanon and all over the world as well. Of course, so. of course. But it was really hard to me to, you know, with everything that's happening in Lebanon, to leave my family and country in this very critical situation. Yeah. But I promised myself and I promised the people that I love that no matter what happened, I will overcome every challenge that will come my way and I'm gonna be here. Even the sickness, I will overcome it. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. And that's one of the things that I really wanted to talk to you about right. because, I mean, let's talk about Lebanon history at Miss Universe in just a bit, but yeah. before that, you know? Right now, your country has been through so much in the past few years, and I feel like uh, you being here is not only something for you, but it's like a statement to talk yes. about the history of your country, the current situation. So tell me, how are you using this platform to have an impact mm -hmm. around the world? Mm -hmm. Well, as you said, my country for the past few years has been through a lot. And it's really hard for my people to go through everything. Let's start with the Beirut blast, August 4, and then we can talk about the financial crisis. Everything's happening. But the first thing I love about my country and about my people is that they are so resilient. Yes. No matter what happens, they are very strong. They just stand up and sorry and they just stand up and continue fighting because we want to live we love to live and every and each and every single person in my country have a, have a dream we have a lot of dreams to achieve indeed yes. i have the pleasure to say that i have a lot of friends from lebanon oh, and amazing. you guys are resilient kind people hard working really the best so yeah. I'm, I'm actually very happy to see that you're representing them so well here thank at miss you. universe thank you now, talking a little bit about Miss Universe, it's been a while since Lebanon has been at Miss Universe, yeah. obtained a placement at Miss Universe. Mm -hmm. So how do you take all of that pressure on wow. your shoulders? As you said, the first Arab woman that won Miss Universe was Regina Rizzi in the 1970s. Yes. And we only got two placements after that or before that. And 50 years from now, we didn't get any placement uh, yes. for Lebanon. So. I feel very responsible. I feel that all the people in Lebanon are fighting for me that, that, and they're seeing something in me and I want them to be happy. I want them to, I want to make them proud. So I'm trying my best, all my power to make this happen, to get a placement this year in Miss Universe and I, and I hope this happens. And you're doing so well. I'm so happy for you. I'm so excited for you. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and I'm not even from Lebanon, but I'm really proud of this one. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me, um, when you decide, I mean, that you're going to join Miss Universe, mm -hmm. how do you prepare from that moment? Okay. Because it's a big responsibility, right? Okay, so let me tell you. I only knew that I'd be presenting Lebanon and Miss Universe only one month before. Wow. Yes, yeah, so I had to prepare every single thing by myself. I prepared my wardrobe all alone. Oh. Yes, with my, the help of my mom. Of course, my team in Lebanon, they helped me with the production to film the, the, the things that uh, Miss Universe asked for, but everything else, I did it myself. Wow. Yes, every day is wardrobe, what to wear, what not to wear. Even my dresses, the, the national costume and yes. the gown, uh, I was with the designers, what to choose, what to do, what to not to do. Yes, it was really, there, there was a lot of pressure on me, but I'm fine with it. I'm used to hard work. Yeah. Yeah, since I was 17 years old, I started working. I had full-time jobs and did my university and the modeling. So I'm used to it because if anything happened and if I get a placement, I will really be proud of myself that I did everything all by all alone. So. <laughs> so I was saying that even if I get a placement, I will really be proud of myself, of myself, that I did everything alone. Of course, uh, with the help of my family and my friends and the whole team in Lebanon, the team in LBCI, my, the TV channel that I work in. Yes. Yes, that's it. One thing that I noticed, you know, because as a person who also makes a lot of content about pageants, 
I get to interact with a lot of fans from all over the world. Okay. I noticed there's a special hype around you this time around. Yeah. Not just coming from Lebanon, yeah. but from people from all over the world. So how does it feel to receive so much love and support from people that you don't even know? Yes, well, I was really surprised. I didn't expect that. And when I arrived here, the people were waiting and they were like, I'm Lebanon! And I really, I was really surprised. I didn't expect that. Even before arriving here, I received messages from Philippines, Thailand, Colombia, Venezuela. They are rooting for me. Yes. Well, I'm, I'm so honored and I feel really loved and blessed to have all the love. Absolutely. One thing that I also really love about this particular edition of Miss Universe yeah. is that after a while, we are getting so much beauty and representation for Arabic women, yes. who I think are some of the most beautiful in the world. <laughs> These women have incredible stories to tell. So how do you feel being here with other sisters mm -hmm. that, you know, are also from a, from a similar background yeah. as well? Uh, just let, let's tell them that we have Miss Egypt and yes. Miss uh, Bahrain. Yes. They're really incredible. I love them. I, I see how much they're, they're also hard wor workers. Yeah. They are passionate. They have a goal and they want to achieve and I'm really proud to see our Arab women working hard like that and representing their countries and the Arab world like that. I'm really proud of them. Indeed. All of them are yes. giving their absolute best. So you better support everyone, right? Yes, of course. I love that. <laughs> One thing about you is, what I noticed, this is my humble opinion, you guys, okay? Yes. okay. You're beautiful, you're kind, you're smart, you're talented, you have everything. What would it mean for you to be able to bring back home that Miss Universe crown after so oh. many years? Well, oh, I have I feel like I want to cry. Don't cry. <laughs> no. Okay. The makeup. No. <laughs> the makeup. Well, as I told you before, my account has been through a lot. And I've been receiving messages that this is the best thing happening in the world. Oh, Maya. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. <laughs> I didn't know that. I don't want to cry. It's a lot of emotions. And I think it's genuine emotion, right? Because you're, you know, let's be honest. You're doing something right now, right here, that is, this is history in the making, right? This is something that not a lot of people get to do, and you're doing it so well, so. I'm sorry. No, you don't have to be sorry. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, good. First thing you should know about that, I'm very emotional. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I'm just gonna fix the sash so that yeah. the microphone goes up a little. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God, Louis. <laughs> okay, so uh, when when they asked me, I we want fact about you. Yes. I told them I cry a lot. <laughs> I'm very emotional. As much as I'm strong, I'm very emotional at the same time. Even on my TV show, if I see a child, if the eyes oh, start crying, <laughs> this is not really good, but it's fine. So. But, I've been receiving messages lately from the people and you're the best thing that's happening in Lebanon at the moment. Please be strong, make us proud. Yeah. And when I got sick a few days ago, everyone was praying, please, Mike, get well. We are, we are fighting for you. Please do something. Yeah, so that's it. If I got the crown with me, oh. It will be that, the perfect gift, right? Of course. Yes. And my people deserve it. Yes, they do. <laughs> and as I said earlier, you know, the reason why I mentioned these things on camera is because I want people to know that you're truly, truly trying your best. You're working hard. Even when you're sick, you're still pushing, you know, with yeah. interviews and stuff like that. So I want people to know that you're trying your absolute best to make them proud, regardless of what happens, you know? Of course. What I want you to remember is what I told you earlier that, you know, it doesn't matter what happened, you are making history right now and you will be remembered for years to come. Of for course, life. of course. And I love to receive messages like that. No matter what happens, you, we are already proud of you. The recognition that it's happening right now, I'm really proud of it for myself and for my country. And I really, and I really have a passion to make a change in the world. I'm not only here to be famous, to people know, oh, to gain more followers. This is not my goal. My main goal is to make a change because I believe that everyone in this world, even with a small gesture, they can make an impact, maybe an impact on their friends, on their community, on their country, maybe on the world. But every action can make a good impact on the world. And I really believe it. 
And I hope I can, I can make a good impact on this world, whatever I want or not. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. You're so good. You're so good. Please let everyone know how they can support you in the okay. coming days okay. are so important. So all you have to do is download the Miss Universe app and vote for Lebanon. That's it. And we have the voice for change. I'm not sure. Maybe it's the end of uh, voting is today. Yeah, today's the last day. So. The last day of voice for change. Go vote. And on the app, we still have a few days. So vote for Lebanon. Yes. I'm going to give you a hug for good luck. Thank you so much. I'm super, super proud of you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you for what you're doing. Of course, of course. This is my absolute pleasure to tell your stories and help you just amplify your voices as, as much as I possibly can. Thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, thank you for watching. See you soon. You're so good. Oh my God.